Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I know I am. I'm getting some uh, rest in and uh, some things done around the house. But that being said, I just wanted to shoot a quick video here, um, just kind of touching on something that I've been messing around with um, on my system for the past few days. Uh, and that is a, another run launcher. And I'm sure all of you are like, what do I need another run launcher for? And the answer to that is you don't. I just like to figure out different ways of doing things and then trying them out. So that's what we're doing here. Um, so basically, you've got your normal, uh, typical uh, run launchers. You know, you've got like D menu, which if I hit my mod D key, you can see I've got uh, D menu launches up at the top there. Um, I don't have it set to a key binding, but you also have Rofi. So if I was to do R O F I dash show run, um, you can see I've got um, another launcher here. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, both of those are great. You've got like X launch, um, you've got. Uh, What's the other ones? There's there's a whole bunch of different menu systems you can uh, install. If you actually just Google menu systems for Linux or whatever, you know, you can come up with all kinds of stuff. But um, there's one that I wasn't familiar with as far as a run launcher anyway, until I decided to start playing around with it a little bit. Um, I installed FZF on my system a while ago to use in Vim. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really use it because, well... I don't know, I just don't. I don't really like it. I haven't gotten comfortable with it. I'm not saying it's not a good program, just something that I'm not uh, too keen on using. But I thought, you know, there's got to be another use for it. You know, you can probably do all kinds of things with it. And so, that being said, I started tinkering around. And what did I come up with? But I had this. I came up with another run launcher. So basically what this is, is basically a D menu style launcher using FCF. So if I wanted to launch Alacrity, I could just type in Alac. Ready? You can see right there at the top, we hit enter and we launch Alacrity. Launch out of that and let's go to, let's see, Nemo. And we launch Nemo. And if we want to do, uh, let's see, Nuclear. We launch Nuclear, which is Music Player. Um, so there's just all kinds of, uh, Nuclear always takes forever to launch, but um, there's just all kinds of things that uh, you, you can basically treat it just like a D menu or a Rofi as far as a run launcher goes. And it's pretty cool. I think it's actually pretty cool looking too. I kind of like the looks of it. Um, it's got very uh, minor customizations aesthetically you can do with it, but it's kind of cool. So that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into the script I made real quick that takes care of this for me. Or I don't even know if I'd call it a script, but I guess that's what we'll call it. Um, so let's go ahead and launch a terminal. Let's uh, clear the screen and zoom in. And then we'll cd into my scripts directory. And if we do an ls, you will see I have a script right here called launch.sh. So let's go ahead and vim into launch.sh. And basically, all I do is I have a directory declared here, directory2. Um, and that is my variable. So then we go down here and I have menu equals ls. This big long command here. So it's basically ls directories one and two. I had another directory up here because I was messing with files and stuff. I haven't gotten that to work correctly yet, but um, eventually that'll probably change. Um, so that way I could try to open up files to edit or launch programs. But right now it just launches the program. So my directory is slash bin, which is going to be where my executables are on my system. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, you can make this, you can extend this to include whatever directories you want to. Or you can just have it search for executables or whatever. But I just did this quick and dirty script to actually see if it would work. But um, So basically we have menu and it's going to list and it's going to give it the A flag to list all hidden and everything. Which I don't think I need hidden but that was in there again for when I had directory 1 for files. Um, but for directory 2 it's going to pipe it into unique so that way it only lists one uh, listing for each of them. Um, and then it pipes that into fuzzy finder or FZF. And we have a few flags in FZF here. So we have the... Um, prompt which just says run so if I hit mod shift D you can see right here I've got this prompt that says run and um, then we give it a border and I have a rounded border which is you can see kind of there's a little bit of rounding on these corners not much but there is a margin of 5% which gives me a little bit of space here from the edge of the window to where the text starts um, then we have the color dark. You can choose from light, dark, 16, or black and white. So you can have different color options on there. Um, and then the next flag is height. It's 100%. So if you launch it, you can have the programs only come down to like right here or whatever. But I have 100% height for the window. Um, and then we have a header, which again, if we launch it again, we have the header right here for programs. Um, 
and then info hidden if you don't if you don't have info hidden it's going to list out how many options you have um, I didn't really need to see that so you know it's kind of like the numbers uh, patch for D menu um, and then after that we have uh, oops went a little too far uh, let's just go to the end of the file here or the end of the line here real quick and then we have header first which means the header is going to be at the top this program as opposed to the bottom so that being said um, once we do that, then we just run a command here, execute, and then we have devour, and we have menu. So we have it executing whatever we choose from the fuzzy finder menu that pops up here. Now devour is something I have added because if you don't have devour or like the swallow, I believe the patch is called swallow on DWM, um, that actually when you launch something from a terminal, uh, swallows and hides the terminal while well, devour does the same thing and you can install that from github um, and so that way when you launch a program from the terminal it will swallow that terminal and hide it and then um, cover the cover the screen with the, the program being launched that being said i don't necessarily think i need that now i was dealing with this on um, herbs lift and herbs lift wanted to launch as a full terminal not as a scratch pad so as you can see i'm using daemon or dwm right now um, because dwm allows me to set up um, set up this launcher as a floating scratch pad and you all know i'm a huge fan of scratch pads and i can't can't seem to break the habit of using them but um, let's actually go ahead and try something here let's try and get rid of the devour command and let's see if it actually works. So let's launch and let's do Nemo again. And it does. So we don't need to have the devour command in there if you're using on if you're using D menus or uh, DWM, excuse me, or something that allows it to launch as a scratch band. But that being said, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a real simple. It's actually kind of cool. Like I said, I'm working with extending it with different directories and different things. You know, maybe I'll just have to build different um, menu systems that will allow me to do, uh, you know, open text files with one and executables with another and whatever else. But I just thought that was kind of cool. Just a little change of pace. Um, again, most people love D menu and Roki, so they're not going to have any reason to switch away from them. I'm still going to use them too, but I just thought this was a cool little change because, you know, options. Who doesn't like options? So that being said, I hope you guys find this interesting or useful, and I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your weekend. I'm praying for all of you. God bless.